Hi guys, hope you're well. Uh, Steve here again. I think in our kind of LinkedIn debate series, which we've hopefully tried to kind of kick off, something kind of popped up recently and it was actually through a colleague, I won't name any names, but it was all to do with the, the kind of skills gap. But the way that they kind of pitched it is that normally people look at, oh, okay, people in their 50s plus are starting to retire, there's not the, the kind of breadth that people start to come through. But the thing that I kind of wanted to look at was that on two levels, one is that for people who are going through their career, probably similar level age to myself, there's only a certain number of people who can either reach partner in a law firm or reach director or that kind of thing. So actually, what are the best ways to really kind of motivate your team and get the best out of people? But likewise, I think there's a huge opportunity that people often miss is that actually because of the skills gap, there actually there'll be inherent opportunities for people in their 30s touching into their 40s to really kind of learn and progress their careers more quickly through actually learning from the people we have so actually i think that although people talk about the skills gap as a as a macro issue that we will have a shortage of experienced people what i wanted to kind of open the debate and get your views on was that for people developing through their career do they actually view it as a huge opportunity to kind of learn and hopefully quickly progress as things go ahead? So yeah, the skills gap, what are your thoughts? Good, bad, indifferent, not bothered? I'd love to kind of hear your thoughts. Thanks a lot. Bye.